Welcome to this tutorial video on making a futures trade on Personal Finance Lab. What are futures? A type of contract to buy or sell an underlying asset to be delivered at a predetermined date in the future. The buyer agrees to pay a set price while the seller agrees to provide the asset in a standardized format on the specific date. This means the quality, quantity, and delivery location are the same for all sellers for that type of futures contract. There are many different types of futures. Farmers use corn futures to specify a buyer and a price in the future when they harvest their corn. And cereal companies like Kellogg's want to make sure they will have corn to make cornflakes cereal. Establishing a price now for a transaction in the future helps the buyer and seller better manage their businesses. Other popular futures are wheat, gold, silver, crude oil, natural gas, cattle, and pork bellies. But there are also financial futures like index futures on the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, and there are even futures on currencies and interest rates. A key feature of trading futures that you need to understand is that the contracts are marked to market each day. This means that as the price of the futures contract changes each day, your cash balance will fluctuate too. The main difference between futures and options is that with an option you have the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset before a certain date. With a futures contract, if you hold it until the delivery date, you are obliged to execute the terms of the contract. There are two main ways that futures contracts are traded, either as a hedge or for speculation. Hedging is to protect against the risk of unpredictable price changes. Many investors and producers will use futures contracts to lock in a price as a kind of insurance policy. This allows farmers or other producers to know how much money they will make when they deliver the commodity or asset on the delivery date. Speculating is to maximize profits by taking advantage of favorable price movements. This investing strategy is often used by active traders who have no intention of purchasing or delivering the underlying asset. So they will close their position sometime before the expiration date, hopefully having made a profit. Keep in mind that with futures, each future has a different contract size. For example, corn has 5,000 bushels in each contract while gold has 100 ounces. The contract size or multiplier determines how many units are in the contract. For example, if you went long on a gold future with a contract size of 100, it means that every time the price of gold increases by $1, you will gain $100 per contract as your account is marked to market. You can check how many units each contract covers by scrolling down the futures trading page and clicking margin requirements list to view the contract size or multipliers for all the futures available on Personal Finance Lab. When you place an order for a futures contract, your cash balance remains intact, but some is restricted. This restricted amount is set aside from your available cash balance, which will reduce your buying power. This is called the margin requirement. This can be both a good and a bad thing, depending on how the price moves relative to your position. Since you only pay a fraction of the total value of the underlying asset when you buy the futures contract, you get exposure to both much higher profits and lower losses. Trading on margin can amplify your losses if the price moves in an unfavorable direction or increases your profits if the price goes your way. To access the futures trading page, click on futures under the stock game menu. Choose whether you want to buy, sell, or if your session allows, you can also short or cover. Select buy to purchase and sell when you no longer want to own them. Select short if you think the future will go down and cover to close your short position. From the contract drop-down list, select the category of the contract. For example, there are indices, currencies, petroleum, metals, interest rates, bonds, and more. Depending on what you choose from the contract list, you can choose the specific symbol you want to trade. For instance, if you select metals, you will then get to choose from aluminum, gold, copper, etc. Also, Depending on which category and product you choose, there will be different expiration months and years available. An error message will pop up if the specific date has expired. Please note, there are some futures contracts where the last trading date is actually in the month before the expiration month. You can check when your contract will expire by scrolling down the page and clicking Futures Expiration Calendar under Helpful Hints. Then, enter the number of contracts you wish to trade 
and you will see the estimated margin requirement. Make sure to check the contract size before you place your order. Take note of the price listed in the quote. This price multiplied by the number of contracts and by the contract multiplier determines the value of the futures contract you're trading. This is a leveraged position, so you only need to put down the margin requirement, which is the margin times the number of contracts to be able to control the contract. You can use limit orders, stop orders, or market orders for futures trades. A market order will fill immediately, if the market is open, at the current market price. We cover order types in more detail in the Order Types tutorial video. After that, click Preview to see the total estimated costs with commission. Add any trade notes and then click Confirm to place the order. If you have any questions, click Contact Us to speak to a member of our team. Our help desk is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Outside of those hours, you can create a ticket that will receive updates directly to your messaging center on Personal Finance Lab. Thanks for watching.